Good evening, I'm Lori Musicant Kazubek and I am the director for the Los Angeles Valley College Wind Ensemble. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for our Spring 2021 virtual concert. Um, for those of you who have not seen a virtual performance before, you're in for a treat. Um, as most of you know, we have been um, rehearsing at home off campus since uh, March of 2020. So it's been a little over a year and we've put together several of these performances um, with a lot of help, a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Um, rehearsing with a group for performances like these um, are nothing like we've ever experienced before. We rarely get to hear each other. Um, we can't play together online um, and um, we can only talk one at a time. Um, and so, Rehearsals at home and recording performances like these um, have really had us tap into skills that we didn't know we had. Um, and we're really proud to be able to put together this performance um, for you tonight. Um, so what to expect? You're going to see videos where you see boxes that almost look like a Zoom meeting, where it looks like everybody's performing together. Keep in mind that um, in our Zoom rehearsals, that's never the case. All of the performances you see tonight are individual recordings that our performers have put together with headphones or earbuds on with a click track that they perform to. And then we have editors who layer everything on top of each other and sync it. It's a very long process um, and uh, it's been a steep learning curve. Um, and we do feel like we're getting better at it. And um, that being said, we're excited that tonight should hopefully be our last virtual performance because we should be back together on campus in the fall. Yay. Um, we have four pieces that you're going to hear tonight. Um, three of them are with other groups. So we did collaborate with, um, with some other groups this semester. Um, I was asked this winter if, uh, by the director of the Los Angeles Pierce College Symphonic Band, um, Dr. Wendy Mizan, if we wanted to perform with them. And we have collaborated with them throughout the semester. So two of the pieces you hear tonight are going to be with the Pierce College group. Um, you are also going to see a performance of the Star Spangled Banner that is a full district performance. So we have two bands from uh, LA Valley College and from Pierce College, and then choirs throughout the district. And this is actually um, the version of the Star Spangled Banner that the, the colleges in the LA Community College District will be using for graduation. So it's been really, really great to have a chance to be part of uh, something that's a little bit bigger than ourselves um, this semester. And then we have one piece that we just did by ourselves. So a quick um, introduction to what we're performing for you tonight. The first piece you're going to hear is the District Wide Star Spangled Banner. Um, after that, you will be able to see and hear a piece called Blue Ridge Reel by a composer named Brian Balmages. And you'll start to see that there's basically an American theme going, um, and we didn't even intend it that way, but that's basically how our program ended up, ended up happening, um, which is a piece that's in the style of an Irish reel, but it's really dedicated to the Blue Ridge Mountains over on the eastern part of our country. So um, that's the Blue Ridge reel, and we perform that with the L.A. Pierce College Band. Um, our third piece is called Spitfire by a composer named William Owens. And I'm not going to say too much about that piece because we're going to have an introduction to that a little bit later in the program. And then we're going to end with a really beautiful arrangement of God Bless the USA, again, with the Pierce College Band. Um, I will talk to you again at the end of the concert. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy.
They were pioneers who blazed a trail through the war-torn skies over Europe. Before the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II, no black American had ever been a U.S. military pilot. After the Tuskegee Airmen, the U.S. military would never be the same. Widespread discrimination prevented African Americans from flying during the First World War. For the next 20 years, the pressure would slowly build to allow black pilots to serve in the sky. Finally, in 1941, the Army launched what's called an experiment, the segregated 99th Fighter Squadron. That squadron would train at an airfield near Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, and thus the Tuskegee Airmen were born. To be clear, not every airman was a pilot. For every man who flew, there were 10 keeping him in the air, men and women, military and civilian, who served on ground duty support, like mechanics, supply personnel, cooks, and more. Not all were black. Some were white or Latino or Native American. One notable woman who helped the Tuskegee Airmen take off into history was the First Lady of the United States, Eleanor Roosevelt. Visited the squadron in 1941 and insisted a black pilot take her up. And that photographs would be taken. These photographs helped convince President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to send the unit into action, first in North Africa and later in Europe. The 99th, along with other squadrons, would later form the 332nd Fighter Group in Europe, their planes boasting tails painted bright red. In Europe, the airmen would fly more than 15,000 sorties, completing an unequaled 1,500 combat missions, all while showing great courage, skill, and dedication. Among their decorations, 150 distinguished flying crosses. Squadron leader Benjamin O. Davis Jr. would eventually rise to the rank of three-star general, receiving a four-star post-retirement. The Skig Airmen were deactivated in 1946. The experiment, a great success. But more than that, the brave flyers had proved themselves in combat, and their performance helped pave the way for desegregation of the military in 1948. Today, the National Park Service Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site in Alabama helps tell their story and preserve their memory for all time. Spitfire was written in honor of the famed Tuskegee Airmen. This group of brave African Americans overcame intense racial discrimination during World War II to train and fly with great distinction. The opening hymn-like theme pays homage to these heroes as they approach their aircraft and prepare to take flight. The music suddenly spikes in tempo and leads to an intense aerial battle with percussion, boisterous brass, and trombone glissandos replicating the sounds of fighter jets and artillery. The battle eventually roars to a victorious finish. Please enjoy our presentation of Spitfire by William Owens.
Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed our concert tonight. Um, I have some thank yous that I want to throw out there before we leave tonight. Um, first of all, a huge thank you to Julie Levine, who is one of our trumpet players that you saw tonight in the performance. Um, and she has been um, doing volunteer editing of performances for this group since last spring. And anyone who's attempted to do something like that knows the enormous amount of work that it takes. And so I want to, um, on behalf of the band, give you a very, very hearty, huge thank you, Julie, for doing this for us. So she is the one who edited Spitfire that you just saw. So really great job, Julie. Um, I would like to thank our LA Valley College Department Chair, Dr. Christian Nova, for his unwavering support and for James Grude, the instructional assistant who um, has always been there for me and for us as a group. Um, thank you so much. Um, to the crew at LA Pierce College, it's been an amazing semester working with you. So thank you for doc to Dr. Wendy Mazan, the band director over at LA Pierce College. We loved working with your group and always love working with you and really hoping that we get to do this together in person moving forward. Um, and to the editors over at Pierce as well for what you did with the Star Spangled Banner, Blue Ridge Reel, and God Bless the USA is D DJ, Magina, uh, DJ Medina and um, Alexander Zhu. You guys are awesome and I appreciate you so much. You've been such a pleasure to work with and um, thank you for being such an awesome team. Um, and I wanna thank the band mostly. Congratulations, band. You made it to the end of this semester and to the end of our pandemic band. Um, and we have shared a lot. We've become very close. We've spent a lot of time on Zoom together, um, a lot of laughs, <laughs> some tears too. Um, I couldn't have made it through without you and um, honestly the help with technology, you know who you are, but also just the, the laughs and the hard work and for your beautiful musicianship and friendship. So band, congratulations. I'm always proud of you and I'm proud to be part of this group. Um, looking forward to seeing you in the fall. Um, to everybody else, first of all, we do, it does look like we're gonna be on campus for the fall. So if you're thinking about joining, please consider registering for the Wind Ensemble at LA Valley College for the fall semester back on campus. Um, looking forward to rebuilding and renewing. Um, if you care to hang with us, we would love to have you come join our Zoom in about five minutes. Um, we're going to put the link to our um, Wind Ensemble Zoom right here in the YouTube chat. Um, and if you want to join us, come say hi to the performers. Come congratulate them, say hello, hang with us. Normally we'd be doing a reception after a concert, so that's what we're going to do tonight. Bring something to drink if you like and come hang with us for a little while. Um, I want to say one more time, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. We couldn't do this without our supporters, family, friends. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night, wonderful summer, and hope to see you at a performance in the fall. Take care. Bye-bye.